हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस इज साइडेंटल व्लॉग्स टुडे वीडियो टॉपिक विल बी हाउ टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन वेरियस व्हाइट लीजेंस व्हाइट लीजेंस आर ऑफ मेनी टाइप्स इट इज कैंसरस प्री कैंसरस और नॉन कैंसरस सो हाउ विल वी रिकॉग्नाइज देम देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डाउट बिटवीन द पेशेंट्स बिटवीन द डॉक्टर्स कि व्हिच व्हाइट लीजन इज डेंजरस व्हिच इज नॉट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ब्रॉडली क्लासिफाई द व्हाइट लीजन इनटू टू पार्ट्स व्हिच इज नॉन कैरोटोटिक एंड कैरोटोटिक so we don't have to worry about the non keratotic lesions right what is keratotic and non keratotic in keratotic means there is involvement of keratin which is the superficial layer of the skin non keratotic means it occurs in the non stratified squamous epithelium so first we'll talk about the keratotic lesions in keratotic lesions there are various various lesions which are normal there are various lesions which are little bit abnormal so the first one which comes under normal lesions is fordyce granules it is not any kind of lesion it doesn't happen because of smoking tobacco it just occurs in the normal population and people are very scared of it which is known as fordyce granules in fordyce granules will be there will be accumulation of sebaceous glands which is quite normal and many patients are suffering they are telling give me the medicine for fordyce granules but there is no medicine for fordyce granules because it is a normal thing like you are having a hair in your head you are having a beard you are having sweating like that there are collection of sebaceous glands which occur as clusters of yellowish white nodules on the cheeks some patients may have it in the posterior aspect some patients may have in the entire buccal mucosa so you need not need to worry about it second lesion which i am talking about it's not a lesion it's a physiological blackish pigmentation many patients ask me like what is the blackish pigmentation on my tongue what's the blackish pigmentation on the cheek so it's absolutely normal it's known as physiological pigmentation because of the melanin deposition many people are more whiter than the other person many people are blacker than the other person because of different areas of and different levels of melanin pigmentation which comes from the melanocytes so first let me tell you this is totally uh, i think uh, the patients won't understand that it that much but this video is oriented mostly towards the students so that they can learn so next comes about and i was getting a lot of request for this video in english so i have already done this video in hindi as well so for the patients you can listen to the hindi video so now next we are coming to the most common white lesion which is known as frictional hyperkeratosis what happens in frictional keratosis so suppose you are 18 to 20 years old and at that time we get the development of the wisdom teeth the wisdom teeth means third molar erupts at that time what happens it erupts it a little bit and it causes irritation on the retromolar area or the back side of our mouth so what happens is due to regular friction all the time the teeth will be rubbing against the skin and mucosa so there will be deposition of more keratin there will be ulceration initially and there will be more keratin deposition on that surface so if there is more keratin keratin deposition on the skin surface which is known as frictional hyperkeratosis like in gym goers you can see all this area is totally whitish and it will be very hyperkeratotic the extra layer of mucosa or extra layer of keratin will be deposited so no need of getting scared if you remove the third molar tooth the treatment will be done now the most common lesion which i am going to talk about is a pre malignant lesion or potentially malignant disorder is the oral cervical fibrosis on which i have made many videos you can go to my playlist and watch the osmf video those who don't know about osmf just i will tell you it's a disease in which your entire mucosa becomes white and there is progressive mouth closing closing of the mouth and there will be fiber formation on the cheeks and if you don't stop the tobacco it may lead to cancer in the future right so that is the thing with osmf i have made many other videos of osmf so i'm not going too deep into it now next comes the oral lichen planus oral lichen planus lesion so how will it appear oral lichen planus deals a lot of similarity with lichenoid reactions and also with liposarcomatosis how will you differentiate clinically you won't be able to differentiate between all these lesions 
but there are few characteristic features of lichen planus which you have to take into mind like for example the patient is having hypertension or if the patient is also having diabetes then you can link all these three okay this one is diabetes this one is hypertension so th this is a part of the greenspan syndrome and if the patient is a little bit distressed or stressed due to some reason then there will be lichen planus so it how does it appear it appears as a striae okay like a web interlacing lines crisscrossing each other right so many lines will be there crisscrossing each other which is known as wickham's striae so then there's a feature of lichen planus and suppose there is a big red area in between that then it becomes erosive lichen planus so lichen planus is both common in males and females but in females we see more cases of lichen planus so erosive lichen planus is more troublesome than the normal lichen planus because erosive lichen planus the patient has to deal with lot of burning sensation of the mouth which is very annoying so we give antioxidants to the patient and uh, patient do get cured if you have any doubts or if you want to send pictures you can mail me in the mail id given in the description box and i also pin a comment in which you can send me some pictures and i can tell you what lesion is this based upon my expertise and based upon the years of diagnosis but eventually you have to show to someone else who is near your area if you can come to me it's well and good but you can send me pictures where i in instagram as well my instagram id is sai underscore dental i reply but slowly i reply to everyone in the lesions list next comes we are talking about the leukoplakia leukoplakia is not as lichen planus so what is the basic difference between leukoplakia and lichen planus so lichen planus will always be associated with some kind of stress or some kind of mental disorder disorder or some kind of psychosis patient will be depressed to some extent or major life incident will be there but it's not the case with leukoplakia leukoplakia is entirely different lesion in which the patient will be having a overall white plaque sometimes it may be associated with filiform overgrowth which is known as proliferative varicose leukoplakia and the chances of developing of leuko leukoplakia into cancer is very high in lichen planus the chances of development of into cancer is very less it's around 5.5% but in leukoplakia it's even higher so leukoplakia on few areas is quite dangerous like on the tongue if there is a leukoplakic lesion and if there is a proliferative varicose leukoplakia it's even more dangerous so we have to take care and we have to show to the nearest dentist so what will be the white appearance so the white lesion in the leukoplakia will be like a ebbing tide pattern suppose there is a sewer you are using a drone and you fly up the drone and you can see the sea beach so how can you see the whitish area of the sea the periphery ebbing tide returning tide pattern you can see or you can also see a crop in which you have not given water for long days or jisko hum banjar zameen bolte hain like barren land so it will appear like a cracked mud appearance on the skin so that is the feature of leukoplakia so these are few common lesions there are n number of lesions with which with which you can uh, talk about there is systemic lipocytomatosis discoid lipocytomatosis discomative gingivitis in discomative gingivitis what happens the entire gums become reddish in color right so we can give it a differential diagnosis of pemphigus vulgaris pemphigus vegetation pemphigus foliaceus but more common is pemphigus vulgaris in the oral cavity so where the gums will be entire red in color so many people get confused whether it is gingivitis because the patient comes with burning sensation we can also give it a differential diagnosis of erosive lichen planus i know it's little bit complicated and tough because uh, those who have done oral medicine they'll be able to know it particularly and this is totally education based it's not off for a patient education but only for any teacher or student if you want to learn so these are the overall the white lesions if i make the video too long then it will be so we'll continue this video education series video in which we'll be talking about various white and red lesions if you like this channel video please do give a like thumbs up and share this video as much as possible and you can follow me in sai_dental as well till then take care bye bye